I'm Dr. Ryan Stanton for ABC 36 News, and today I'm joined by Dr. Travis Stork, board certified emergency physician and host of the Emmy award winning show, The Doctors. Today we will talk about getting ready for that big day with regard to our breakfast cereals and foods. We have all heard that it's the most important meal of the day, but is that true? And if so, why is it so important? Dr. Stork, thank you for joining me. So why is breakfast so important and how does it help you prepare for your day? Well, I think the biggest thing with breakfast is that people forget that breakfast is providing you not only your energy source for the rest of the day, but people who eat breakfast in general consume fewer calories to the rest of the day. And then if you look at the majority of studies, because you can always find a study to support your cause, but most studies show that people who regularly eat breakfast are at their more ideal body weight. Kids who eat breakfast do better in school. And so part of the campaign, I, I'm on with Kellogg's right now, it's a tomorrow campaign. It's about prepping the night before, making sure if you got a big day tomorrow, your kid has a big day, get everything all teed up the night before so that in the rush of the morning, uh, you don't head out the door getting the things you need to get done or without eating breakfast. Well, you're no stranger to big days, whether it be through medical school, residency, the bachelor, the doctors. How do you get ready for these big days? So I'm all about the night before. I really am, and, and you're probably the same way. It's, I, I got my pad and paper. I'll write down my to-do or must-achieve list before I go to bed because I don't want to stress about it while I'm trying to sleep at night. Um, because my life is so bizarre and, and I'm not always, when I wake up in the morning, I'm not always even sure where I am. I lay out my clothes the night before so that I don't have to think about that or rummage through the closet. And then I will for breakfast. And I've done this since I was a kid. My mom would always lay out a bowl and a spoon and fruit as a trigger in the morning. Okay, don't leave without eating breakfast. So what are the key components to this healthy breakfast? Well, everyone has different tastes and desires, but a few of the things that I always think are important for breakfast is you know, getting protein for breakfast is, is key, not only because you're breaking the fast, and protein we know is great for regenerating muscles, but also helping you feel satisfied longer throughout the morning. One of the big things on whole grains um, is that whole grains not only provide sustained energy, but because it's the whole grain and has fiber, it wasn't surprising to me when JAMA Internal Medicine, when the article came out earlier this year showing that people who ate an extra serving of whole grains had a 9% reduction in risk of death from cardiovascular disease. That wasn't surprising to me. And so protein, whole grains in the morning, throwing in fruit, to me, uh, it's a great way to go. But more importantly, it doesn't need to be complex. You don't need to be a chef. Even us doctors can put those kinds of meals together without too much effort. All right, Dr. Stork, uh, thank you for your time. I hope all of you out there, out and about, or at home will set aside a little extra time, maybe the night before, as suggested here, for a healthy breakfast to get your day started off on the right foot. I'm Dr. Ryan Stanton for ABC 36 News.